Today's hate mail of the day is brought to you by Halo Warlord 2015. Battlefront 2015, Battlefront 3, whatever you want to call it, was one of the more hated games that many people did not enjoy playing for many different reasons, especially when it was released. As for the game today, currently the player base is nothing like how it used to be. At times it had well over 200,000 players online combined on all systems. Now that average during the daytime hours is below three to 5,000 most of the time even going below 2,000 players at night. Once again, that includes all three platforms. And on PC, it has been considered a dead game for over two full years, averaging less than 500 players 95% of the time, even going below 150 total players on a regular basis, especially at night or in the early morning. I love the game, but even I have to admit there was a lot of bullshit on this game, more BS than most games ever have. The glitches, like the invisible shield that protects enemy players when you shoot at them, the invisible wall that you hit in midair when there is nothing there, the hero glitches, whether it's four or five heroes on one team in Walker Assault, or looking like a normal trooper when you are a hero, or getting sniped through objects, or getting killed by somebody after you killed them a half a second before, the melee assist glitch was known for that, and let's not forget about teleporting across the map every once in a while, and being unable to spin or roll half of the time. All of these were small things that just added up over time, and it was too much for most people. And the main things that people have mentioned to me that many find to be annoying or overpowered, weapon-wise... The four most hated guns on this game that were mentioned repeatedly were the E-11, the EE-4, and most of all the EE-3, plus the bow rifle. All three E weapons one tap the hell out of people like crazy. The EE-4 was, and still is, like having a mini shotgun with a burst that wasn't a two-shot weapon like the game says it is. Over a distance, it expanded to six or eight shots. And of course, the EE3 never took any skill to use, and all the quote-unquote pro players, <coughs> virgins, spam the EE3 like crazy. Bottom line, the way I see it, the TTK, time to kill if you don't know what TTK is, reflects how much skill it takes. A weapon like the TL50, in my opinion, takes far more skill to use than the EE3 because it has a longer TTK. The EE-3 is the most overpowered weapon in the history of this game. It amazes me still how people can deny that. The most overpowered weapon in any game is always going to take the least amount of skill to use. Also, the charges and star cards. So many of these just made people rage like you wouldn't believe. It made people not even want to touch this game ever again. And I can't blame them, to be honest with you. Because some of these things, yeah... It's cheap to use. You could say the scatter gun and the shot grenade needed to be nerfed. Explosive shot and adrenaline stem, everybody and their brother spammed or used that shit like you wouldn't believe, and it's still like that to this day. Most of all, and I can't stress this one enough, using bodyguard took all the skill, all the fun out of the game, especially when you used it with stem and the EE3. That DB loadout was, and still is, just for trash players who have to use the cheapest bullshit on the game. End of story. Things like that, plus mouse and keyboard players on console, adding the Baka Bomb completely changed the game at one point, having to pay to get the rest of the weapons and cards unlocked with the season pass, and changing everything around in the game mode droid run. I still can't believe they did that and ruined that game mode. That will stick with me forever. I'm never going to forget that. I mean, Droid Run at one point, if any of you remember, was the best game mode on this game, or at least one of them. Now it's damn near unplayable because the load-in time takes longer than most matches. 
I mean, how can you do that if you're EA or DICE? You take the best game mode on the game and flat out ruin it. I remember I didn't even play this game for three months after that happened because I was so pissed off at EA and DICE for doing that. All of those things I just mentioned and what you're seeing in this video are reasons why people stop playing this game. The player count taking a huge dive over the past two or three years shows that. I can't even tell you how many times I've had to give up Bosk or just in general leave a Walker Assault match because there simply just wasn't enough players on the other team. It's really a shame to see this game in such a poor state now. I still like to play it, I love the game. But once again, I can completely understand why so many people hated or just gave up on this game so long ago, which is unfortunate. I wish more people would play this so we could find more lobbies, especially for the DLC, because all of the DLC playlists were so much fun back in the day when you could get a lobby completely filled up at any given time. That was a lot of fun. I really miss that. You know, this game has always been fun to me despite the things listed in this video. I still stream the game on Twitch. I'm literally the last guy on YouTube or Twitch that shows content on this game on a regular basis. But eventually I am going to stop playing this when a good game is actually released. But I'm always going to remember the good times I have had on this game. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Hashtag long live Battlefront in the comments section below. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.